Taking a break on Asken Flat Minor, the Doctor and Rose were teleported aboard Hasvel the destroyer's spaceship. Rose was locked in a cell and threw a banana peel at Hasvel, making him slip over. One of Hasvel's cannons blasted a hole in the bars of Rose's cell, freeing her, and Rose pointed the hologram projector at the Doctor, unwittingly creating hundreds of duplicated projections of the Doctor. The Doctor, along with his duplicates, warned Hasvel to leave this sector of space and renounce war. When Hasvel agreed, the Doctor and Rose then returned to Asken Flat Minor. Pros The Hero Factor The Doctor and Rose traveled to Bath in 1840 to pick up the first penny black stamp. They discovered the inkers at the printing presses had been hypnotized by a hobothi, who intended to use the ink in the stamps to channel its hypnotic powers. Rose pushed the hobothi into a printing press, and the hobothi was crushed by the press operator Thomas Scott. The doctor explained that without the hobothi, the ink was now harmless. The doctor then sent a letter Rose wrote about this adventure to Rose's mother with a squashed hobothi stamp on the envelope. Pros, stamp of approval. Rose discovered a Slitheen scout in a funfair who, after trying out the rides, planned to make a twisted version of the fair where humans would be hunted. The Slitheen chased Rose down a water slide, where at the bottom, the doctor had filled the water in the pool with vinegar from a chip van, causing the Slitheen to explode. Pros, no fun at the fair. Intending to see Elvis Presley at the Ed Sullivan show, the doctor instead ended up taking Rose to Muswell Hill on the eve of Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953. When they discovered people had been mysteriously taken from their homes, the doctor and Rose did the domestic approach and went on house calls. At the home of Eddie and Rita Connolly and their son Tommy, the doctor found Grandma Connolly's face had been completely removed. Tracking the origin of the Connolly's television set to Magpie Electricals to confront the owner, Mr. Magpie, Rose had her face and essence consumed by the wire as part of her plan to use the coronation to become manifest. Before it could do this, the doctor transferred the wire into a video cassette, which he planned to record over, restoring everyone, including Rose and Grandma Connolly, back to normal. TV, the idiot's lantern. Jackie called her when the Zerus invaded Norwich. She thought that the Zerus looked weird and that the drones were important for something. Upon entering the mothership, she scrambled and released the force field in which the captured humans were trapped. She was later captured by the Zerus and used as a bargaining chip. Rose tried to raise Jess Elmore's self-esteem and stopped her mother Marge Elmore from bullying her. Audio. Infamy of the Zerus. The doctor decided to take Rose to Slough to visit a telescope. She roped the doctor into a fencing match with Chevalier Diane. After traveling to Christopher Dalyard's house, she spent her time trying to find the aliens that the doctor had located. She was then enchanted by Joxer and Hempel to be sold as a slave. She managed to escape the ship and rescued Darcy and the rest of the slaves. Audio. The Sword of the Chevalier. Rose had asked the doctor to take her skiing. After arriving on Cold Star, she worked out that something had broken out of the ice, not into it. She tried to reassure Callum Volta and Lorna when the ice warriors arrived. She recognized the doctor's plan as Escape Plan 29. She worked out that she could use the bin where Lorna was planning to take the waste of ship. Using the pirate wreckers, she piloted it to Callum Volta's ship. She explained to Brona Volta how her son died. After Hascor died, he set his suit to self-destruct and clamped onto her. The doctor managed to unclamp her and throw the bomb out of the TARDIS. Audio, Cold Vengeance. The doctor and Rose landed inside Sanctuary Base 6 on Crop Tor, a planet that was in perpetual orbit around the black hole K-37 Gem 5. Following an earthquake, the TARDIS fell below the planet's surface, devastating the doctor and seemingly ending his travels. The humans of Sanctuary Base 6 had come to Crop Tor to discover the source of power emanating from the planet's core which allowed the planet to orbit the black hole. They refused to divert their drill to collect the TARDIS, but allowed the Doctor to join the expedition down to the center of the planet. Rose stayed on the surface as the Doctor descended to the core, and the Ood, the Basie's servants, began attacking after the beast possessed them. TV, The Impossible Planet when the Doctor and Ida Scott were trapped below and lost contact, Rose encouraged the rest of the crew to think of a means of escape and disabling the Ood. Danny Bartik came up with the idea of emitting a flare that would disrupt the telepathic field. 
They traversed the maintenance tunnels to find the central computer to emit the flare. Mr. Jefferson sacrificing his life to get Rose, Danny and Toby Zed to safety. When Rose re-established contact with Ida, she told her the doctor had fallen into the pit. Rose wished to stay behind even if he did die, but Zack forcibly put her aboard the Sanctuary Base 6 rocket. The doctor, who had actually survived the fall, broke the gravity funnel keeping the planet in place, pulling the planet and the body of the beast into the black hole. As the rocket wasn't yet out of the funnel, it was pulled towards the black hole. Discovering the beast's mind was possessing Toby, Rose shot the rocket's window with Zack's bolt gun and ejected Toby into space. The doctor, having found the TARDIS and saved Ida before she ran out of oxygen, towed the rocket to safety, before joyfully reuniting with Rose. TV, The Satan Pit. Rose and the doctor later encountered the Vashta Narada at Lake Windermere. Comic. Untitled. When Elton Pope used Jackie in his efforts to make contact with him, the doctor tracked him down on Rose's behalf so Rose could tell him off for upsetting her mother. Following the defeat of the Absorboloff, however, Rose quickly felt sorry for Elton after losing Ursula Blake, seeing how much she meant to him, and witnessed the doctor partially restore her in a paving slab. TV, Love and Monsters, the doctor and Rose went to London in 2012 to see the Olympics, five years ahead of Rose's time. Investigating children's disappearances in Dame Kelly Holmes Close, they met a girl named Chloe Weber who was possessed by a lone isolus and had been trapping other children from her street in drawings to make the isolus feel less lonely. Despite trying to help the Isolus, the doctor was also trapped in a drawing, along with the TARDIS. Inside the drawing, the doctor was able to draw a depiction of the Olympic torch and pointed at it to aid Rose. Realizing that the Isolus pod was drawn to heat, Rose used a pickaxe to dig up the street's freshly tarmacked road and unearth it. Once Rose tossed the pod into the Olympic flame to recharge it with warmth and love, the doctor and those taken by the Isolus were freed from the drawing. The doctor then took the place of the winded runner, lighting the Olympic flame himself and allowing the Isolus pod to leave Earth. Reuniting with Rose as London celebrated the opening of the Olympic Games, the doctor warned her that he felt a storm coming when she said that no one would ever separate them. TV, fear her. On a routine visit to see Jackie at the Powell Estate, the doctor and Rose found the entire planet was being visited by beings believed to be ghosts. At first, Rose thought her mother had lost it as she mentioned Grandad Prentice was coming to visit, only to see a ghost that Jackie claimed was him. The doctor tracked the signal to Torchwood Tower in Canary Wharf and was taken prisoner with Jackie by Yvonne Hartman, leader of the Torchwood Institute who had spent over a hundred years trying to track him down ever since his adventure with Queen Victoria in 1879. The ghosts were a side effect of the ghost shifts a means of Torchwood obtaining power for the British Empire after a tear in reality caused by Void Ship. Attempting to pose as a Torchwood employee using the doctor's psychic paper, Rose sneaked into the room where the Void Ship was undercover, but her ruse was quickly discovered by Rajesh Singh. Two computer technicians, secretly under the control of Cybermen, restarted the ghost shift. The ghosts, who were actually Cybermen, came from the parallel world where the doctor and Rose had left Mickey. In the Void Ship Room, Rose discovered Mickey working undercover as a Torchwood employee, believing the Void Ship to be Cyberman technology. As the Cyberman invasion of Earth began, the Void Ship opened, revealing the Cult of Scarrow, a group of Daleks with a Genesis Arc. TV, Army of Ghosts. Rose used her knowledge of the Dalek Emperor and the Time War to stop the Daleks from killing her and Mickey, though they were held prisoner. The Daleks forcibly gained knowledge of the Cybermen from Singh's brainwaves and waged war against them. With the help of a short alliance with the Cybermen and the Preachers, the Doctor, along with the Pete from Pete's world, rescued Rose and Mickey from their imprisonment by the Daleks. In the confusion, Mickey accidentally opened the Genesis Arc and released millions of Daleks, though the Doctor claimed he did them a favor as opening it by force would have blown up the sun. The group then saved Jackie from being upgraded by the Cybermen and Rose witnessed her mother and father reunite at last. To save both dimensions from annihilation and defeat his two deadliest enemies, the Doctor planned to open the Void. This would suck anything covered in Void stuff into it and seal off the two universes for good. Realizing that Rose was also covered in Void energy, the Doctor sent an unwilling Rose, along with Mickey, Pete and Jackie, back to the parallel Earth, where they would be safe. Rose, however, 
refused to leave the doctor. Knowing she would never see her family again, she returned. Though the doctor protested, Rose simply told him that she had made her choice a long time ago. Together, they opened the void and the Daleks and Cybermen, along with the Genesis Ark, were sucked inside. The plan initially went smoothly until Rose's lever malfunctioned, threatening to halt the operation. Rose secured the lever, but couldn't hold on and was almost pulled into the void herself. She was saved at the last second by her parallel father and taken back across to the other universe, separating her from the doctor forever. TV. Doomsday.